simply request specific help and then select the command or function you need help with. When in doubt, there is even help on getting help. If we press the tab key at any time, we will be able to change the settings in the super list, the screen displayed under the menus on the computer's monitor. This display is divided into several sections, flags, position words, data words, function key programs, and picture information including polygonal attributes. The flag section contains two pages of software switch settings which control how the system performs certain tasks. We can access each of these pages by pressing the page up and page down keys on the keyboard. We'll explain in detail the function of many of these flags throughout this series of tapes. The position words section of the super list reports the current position of the three-dimensional world and is fully explained in the tape on control of three-dimensional space. The data words section reports on the current status of available database space remaining in the system's memory and other housekeeping matters. Picture Maker lets you create sequences of commands, which can be invoked from the function keys on the keyboard. Any names you assign to these keys will be displayed here on the super list. The final section of the list displays current settings for many of the functions which control the appearance of your models and images. You may have noticed during our discussion of Picture Maker's functional units that we were using the data tablet to make our selections from the menus. Picture Maker gives you two methods of moving around the menus and making your selections. You have seen the tablet used to move the highlight from selection to selection. By pressing a button on the stylus or puck, we have been telling the system to take the command in the high lit area as our selection. There is also one character in each selection which is displayed as a capital letter. You can press the corresponding letter on the keyboard to make your selections from the menus. The rest of the tapes in this series will introduce you to the many tools available within Picture Maker to build both simple and sophisticated models. The videotapes will explain the techniques you will use to control the look of the models and, when creating animation, their motions. With a little practice, you'll be producing sophisticated models, slides, and animation such as this.